All right, guys, I am running super late, but I am about to be on the news. This is gonna have to do because I'm running uber late. Uh, I was just doing an Instagram story and I'm like, why am I recording if I am so damn late? Uh, but it, it, it is what it is. I mean, I'm gonna be on time. I just didn't have a lot of time to get ready. It's okay though. It's not about me. Like I said before, it's all about Madonna. So guys, Madonna is not my foster. She is part of the rescue group that I volunteer with, Heart of Texas Lab Rescue, and she is adoptable. Um, She's going to be on the news as KViews at KV.com Pet of the Week. So it's really cool. Every week they feature a pet from a local rescue or shelter. And this week is our week, a.k.a. Madonna's week. I'm really excited to give her some exposure. And candidly, I'm really excited to give some exposure to my rescue because we need more volunteers. I mean, we have so many requests of Labradors that need to be uh, in our program. Otherwise, they might be euthanized all this every damn day. So I'm hoping that this might spike some interest for people in the community. Hi. All right, I'll record as much as, as much as I can. I don't know what I'll be able to record because it's a very, very short segment. It's not huge or anything, but uh, there, I don't know what it'll be like in there. So, all right, let's go. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> this is Madonna. Okay guys, so we are at the news station waiting for our moment. Come here. Come here. Hi. Are you nervous? I'm not really. I'm just really, really tired. But we are here at KVU and it's pretty cool. I'll show you what I can. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh Can I record gosh. this? I need yes. to pay okay. you. This is Madonna. Madonna. Yeah. I love her color. Oh. Yeah. She's actually gonna get darker, but she's been malnourished. Okay. So. Oh, Four. Madonna. She's like, what is no? <laughs> So. And this is Madonna. And this is Madonna. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Well, oh, you're such a sweetheart. How old is she? Four. Four? She looks older than that. I know. It's because of malnutrition. We just pulled her from a shelter about a week ago, so she was found as a stray. Oh. So what are we talking about exactly today? I'm looking at the notes here. Five, four, three, two. Welcome back, folks, to the happiest part of this Sunday morning here on KVU. Joining us is Rachel Fusara with the uh, Heart of Texas Lab Rescue. And she's brought along this, this beautiful sweetheart here, Madonna. Tell, tell us a little bit about Madonna, Rachel. Yeah, so Madonna is four years old. She was found as a stray. And <laughs> she is what I would call a Velcro lab because she just wants to be right at Bayou at all times. I love that. <laughs> So she, you, you're saying, how old is she? Only four years old. But and she looks a little bit older than I that. Know. Just on, oh, you want more yeah, scratches? So she has a little bit of mal malnutrition, so that's why her coat's a little bit lighter in color. But with a good diet over time, she'll she'll lighten up. But yeah. So so tell me about your group. Do you get dogs often like Madonna who who need care like that? We do. Most of the dogs that we get from local shelters or surrounding shelters and, and as strays have some kind of issue, behavioral or medical issue, a lot of times. So. Well, that's awesome, and it's glad to see you guys working to working to make her feel better. Yeah. Tell tell me about you know volunteering, folks wanting to get involved with your group. Yeah, uh, so we are um, in need of foster volunteers and facility volunteers. So we are looking for people to bring dogs like Madonna into their home as a temporary foster until we find them their forever home. And we're also we have a property out in Leander. And this is a private property where when we don't have enough fosters, we, she's a love bug. She is a love bug. Uh, Every that's time where, I touch the paper, she's like, no, love me. She's instead. like, love me. That's what I mean. She's a Velcro lab. 
Um, but yeah, so we also need uh, volunteers at our property out in Leander to help take care of the labs that we have on the property, bathe them, train them, walk them, etc. I, I wish I could show you her eyes. She's just like staring at me. She's got these like soulful, a yeah. little bit sad looking, but also like just love me eyes. So pathetic, so Aww. pathetic. She's a sweetheart, folks. And she's up for adoption, right? She is, absolutely. Hotlabrescue.org. So, so is that also where folks would go if they wanted to get involved with volunteering? Yes, absolutely. Say that for me one more time. Hotlabrescue.org. Hotlabrescue.org. How many dogs do y'all have out there? We have about 15 right now. 15 right so, now. Yep. So, folks, if you do want to get involved, make sure you check out Hot Labs, hotlabstexas.org, or am I messing that up? Hotlabrescue.org. I know I'm going to mess it Hotlabrescue.org. And you can check out other cats and dogs looking for a home <laughs> by heading to uh, kview.com and the pet section on our website there. Thanks so much for joining us, Rachel and Madonna. Uh, still ahead, coming up, it is not always easy to stay safe in the Texas heat. How a new technology is helping people monitor their sun exposure. Plus, does the kind of gas you put in your tank matter? We look to verify if you get more bang for your buck with brand name gas. It is about 8.15 in the morning. You're watching KVU, where trust is earned. Thank you. That was great. Oh, yeah, thank you. And you did great. Oh, my darling. Good job. You are such a sweetheart. I was literally, I was like holding my paper. She's like, no. Yeah. Paper's not important. Thank you so much for coming in this early. Yeah. Have a great Sunday. Thank you guys so much. Come on. Yeah. All right, guys, we did it. We were on the news supporting the thing I love most, and that is puppies. I'm so, so thrilled that we have the news here in Austin that is KVU, that is super supportive of our rescue groups. And I hope that we get to do this again because I think it's a really good for exposure. But, um,. Yeah, guys. Okay, let's get it. Madonna, you did so damn good. I'm so proud. I just feel like every time I turn around, there's a new opportunity for me to help bring more awareness to fostering and adopting and spaying and neutering. And I feel so blessed to be able to just work with a group, the Heart of Texas Lab Rescue, who is so passionate about this, just like I am, to live in a town in Austin, Texas that loves supporting this as much as I do. This was a really cool experience, wasn't it? There's my wish out of this. Um, the whole point of going on the news is to get Madonna adopted, but she's gonna be adopted. She's an easy four-year-old laid back lab. And there's no such thing as a laid back lab, but she's a laid back lab. And, but I really wanted to use the opportunity to tell the community that we need more foster volunteers and we need more facility volunteers to help take care of our labs. So that's what I'm hoping will come out of this. I would like to do it more often so that I don't get as nervous, but you know, with practice and et cetera, for some reason, for some reason, the board at my rescue thinks that I like being in front of the camera. I don't, why would they think that? All right, guys, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that like button down below and click subscribe. We need more awareness by you. You clicking subscribe brings more awareness to this. I hope that you have a beautiful